بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ديكتس ديس از دكتور صادق محمود حسن اف ريكوردد سيركوليتري سيستم شورت فيديو اباوت ذا انتروداكشن تو ذا سيركوليتري سيستم ويتش اف اوريدي ابلودد ان اون ذا يوتيوب اند ناو اي ويل تراي تو ريكورد ذا بلاد ذا نيكست ذيس فيديو ويل بي اباوت ذا بلاد um the function of the plot so the objective is will be as or uh, i can say that at the end of this uh, video everybody who watches this video will understand the what is the plot about what is the circulatory system generally or say what is the plot uh, the properties of the blood uh, the components of the plot hemostasis or a prevention of a plot loss and the plot types So this will include an uh, all important information that everybody needs to know about the blood. So what is blood in general? So let me discuss it. Blood is circulatory. Blood is a circulating fluid that transports nutrients. That transports nutrients. That uh, transports. That transports nutrients. Uh, That transports nutrients, oxygen, carbon dioxide, gases, uh, waste products, and regulatory hormones, and regulatory hormones or substances throughout the body. So the blood depends on, and uh, the blood uh, also defends against the, the harmful microbes, in, in, uh, which is in, in fulfilled in inflammation, coagulation. an immune response and help us regulate the pH of the blood uh, pH of the body fluids in general. So blood help us maintain its homeostasis by providing a constant cellular environment. So what is the blood or what is the what we call a blood? Here in the screen you see there is a plasma which is uh, about 55% and this red blood cell or cellular component or element is or uh, what we call formed element is as a 45 percent so blood is in uh, as a definition the blood is a fluid connective tissue that performs a several important function so what is that function we are saying about so it is it transports oxygen help us uh, from the lung to the to the body cells and brings waste carbon dioxide from the cells to the lung. Also transports nutrients, hormones, and regulates body temperatures, which is very important. It also protects the body from a pathogenes. When it closes to prevent the blood loss at the site of injury. So blood, in general, is composed of approximately 55% plasma. Plasma, as you see here now, 55% plasma, and... For the five percent deformed element is what are these formed elements we are say uh, talking about? They are blood cells. So they are blood cells as uh, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. So what is the property of the blood? The properties of the blood is uh, the average person, which uh, average person has about five liter of a blood. That is number one. Blood viscosity and specific gravity are greater than those of water. Number three, the blood pH ranges from 45, uh, 7, uh, sorry, 7.35 up to 7.45, which is neutral, not acidic. If it is more than uh, 7.45, that is alkalosis. And if it is less than what we say, uh, 7.35, this is acidosis so the blood p blood transport uh, blood uh, temperature average is about 38 what are the blood components as you see here this is a uh, red blood cell component is which is almost about for 44 percent less than one percent is a uh, white blood cell is amplified but almost about 45 percent are formed elements as we said so the remaining is a plasma why is this why this proportion is very important well because it is uh, 
the plasma, which is the fluid part, must be and greater than cells because otherwise when you get dehydrated uh, where uh, it, this will uh, lead into a blood clotes and it will uh, blood will easily clot if there is a uh, if the proportion is equal so let me see how what are the types of blood cells do we have or how human body have so if a person a blood consists of basically of two parts which we say plasma here this one and formed element is as we see here red cells also includes the white cell and platelets so the plasma provides a solvent is for a dissolving nutrients it is about 90 percent water this plasma it's almost about 90 percent water so seven percent the t remaining ten percent is seven percent is a dissolved plasma protein is what kind of plasma protein is three important for example albumin is globulin is and fibrinogen is these are semi percent dissolved plasma protein is what what is the remaining three percent well this includes electrolytes amino acids glucose other nutrients enzymes antibodies hormones west metabolic wastes and trees of other materials so uh, what are the blood cells we are talking about or we said it is almost uh, taking uh, the huge proportion of that blood and uh, red well red blood cells also called uh, erythrocytes take the what we call these are red blood cells this is red blood cell this is red blood cell so erythrocytes take up about uh, half of the blood volume so their biconcave shape provides a large surface for gas diffusion. They also contain globulin, globular protein, which we call hemoglobin, which transports oxygen from the lung to all body cells, and it helps remove waste products from what we uh, for, uh, from the carbon dioxide. Waste product is waste product is which is a carbon dioxide. So hemoglobin contains a small amount of heme, iron containing pigment. Iron contain a pigment that binds to oxygen and releases it at the appropriate time. So what about the erythrocyte? Uh, the erythrocyte is produced where erythrocyte is produced. The production of erythrocyte in the is in the bone marrow, and it is called erythropoiesis. The process is called erythropoiesis. Erythropoiesis. All right. So the rate of erythropoiesis is controlled mainly in the negative feedback system involving the glycoprotein hormone erythropoietin. So erythropoietin, as we will see in a short and uh, after a while, uh, is produced mainly in kidney, more than 70% uh, is produced in the kidneys and remaining 30% is produced in the liver. So we will see as uh, the liver as an organ producing and as a hor uh, excretory uh, organ or endocrine organ as well so the leukocytes which we will see in a short uh, are also called a leukocytes leukocytes so leukocytes destroy organisms or microorganisms at infection sites and remove foreign substances and body debris leukocytes are also a mobile movement is there when they move to crawl along the inner wall of the polar physicalis and can passed through the physicalis, uh, physical wall into the tissue spaces so they produce their own uh, continuous supply of energy and they synthesize and are uh, synthesize rna and proteins so the basic two basic classic uh, basic classification of uh, leukocytes are granulocytes and agranulocytes so three types of granulocytes are neutrophilis which we will see in a short neutrophilis a pasophilis and what we call eosinophilis so the, the neutrophilis which take the uh, most uh, about 60 70 percent will uh, d destroy the harmful microorganisms and other foreign particles so eosinophilis help destroy parasites and antibody 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 antigen complex pasophilis are so involved in allergic reactions and inflammation so 
uh, what the other type is of egg granulocyte which don't contain a granulocyte are called monocytes and lymphocytes so monocytes are capable of becoming macrophage that ingest and destroy the harmful uh, substance what about the lymphocytes we will see the types of lymphocytes but as generally they are involved in immune response and synthesize of the body um, synthesize of antibodies uh, so, all right so what about the platelets the platelets as we see here the platelets so platelets are uh, small fragments uh, from uh, mag megakaryocytes so so in when when it comes into what we call a uh, blood clotting there uh, or a prevention in a system or a, a method we call hemostasis uh, or the prevention of a blood loss and the, there is a stabis or uh, the body has a three phase a hemostatic mechanism containing or contributing or consist on contraction of the blood vessel call it aggregation of the blood uh, i mean uh, uh, constriction of the blood vessel that is number one. So, clumping of the blood vessel, uh, blood, uh, ag blood vessel, uh, blood, uh, blood studies, which we call aggregation of the platelets. So, the and number three is that the blood clotting, which we call coagulation. So, at the end of the coagulation, there is a fibrin, and there is a two systems which you call, which are responsible for uh, the blood uh, coagulation system, intrinsic and extrinsic pathway. So, what is the extrinsic pathway? Extrinsic pathway. Of the blood clotting system is rapidly clotting system activated when the blood vessels are ruptured and tissues are damaged. So intrinsic pathway is activated when the inner wall of the blood vessel become damaged or irregular in surface. So the clotting factor is there is also substances which are found in the blood that are specialized uh, to enhance the blood clotting. Uh, at the end as in generally, I will I, I cannot say we have uh, what we call a blood types. So the blood grouping we call blood groups. So blood group or blood can be classified into groups based on the presence of an uh, of an A or B antigen. This antigen we are talking about that they are the presence. They are proteins which are present. Uh, on the surface of the RPCs, which we call agglutinogen. Where are they present or where they are found? They are on the surface of the erythrocytes. So protective antibodies in the plasma also called agglutinins. So these are formed elements which are in the plasma. But the, those on the red cell, this as a red cell is here, we don't see the red cell is on, on the naked eye and as well as uh, agglutinin, agglutinogen we are talking about now, but they are microscopic, so they are present on the cell, the cell surface. So let us move next one. So let us see this short video. The largest component of blood is plasma, a yellowish liquid that is 90% water. Plasma carries suspended blood cells and other substances. Nutrients that pass from the digestive system into the body are transported in the blood plasma. These nutrients include glucose, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids. In the plasma of the blood that enters the kidneys are waste products from body tissue. The kidneys clean blood by filtering the waste urea, uric acid, and creatinine out of the blood plasma and into the urinary system. Plasma also transports electrolytes, components of the immune system, enzymes, and hormones, and it maintains homeostasis by releasing heat. The largest component of blood is plasma. A Very good. So that is short video that was talking about the plasma. Let us move next one. As we see here, a uh, plasma. Plasma protein production. We said the liver produces a plasma protein and secretes them into the blood cells, into the blood. This blood leaves the liver through a hepatic veins and returns to the heart to be pumped through the body. Plasma protein is to support hormones, fatty acids, and other substances through the bloodstream. So here is the liver. 
you see the liver this is the right lobe of the liver this is the left lobe of liver which is triangular which is a triangular shape so this is the and this is re, right this is the left this is the right yes and here we call this is this area this area this small area is called quadrate or quadrat quadrate lobe of the liver so what what is the importance of the liver in the blood in here we said it produces the plasma proteins which are fibrinogen and globulins and other uh, fibrinogenes so very important albumin fibrinogen and globulins so they are very very important proteins so so the role the role in the blood is different uh, the role in the blood system and uh, is a very huge and important so now and uh, in here as a liver liver is also digestive system organ which is ex accessory organ but here we mean that it produces the plasma proteins here is the blood vesicles we are talking so these are called hepatic veins so hepatic veins yes so as an organ the liver as an organ also produces erythropoietin 30% of the erythropoietin so we will see in a short So let us see the production of the red blood cells in general in this video. Red blood cells, also called erythrocytes, make up 40 to 45 percent of blood volume and function to transport oxygen from the lungs to the cells of the body. Red blood cells are produced inside the bones of the skeletal system, particularly in the vertebrae, sternum, ribs, and pectoral and pelvic girdles. Inside the red bone marrow of spongy bone, stem cells known as hemocytoblasts give rise to the different types of blood cells, including red blood cells. During the development process, the hemocytoblast ejects its nucleus, allowing the cell to carry more oxygen to the tissues. Mature red blood cells enter the bloodstream via enlarged capillaries known as sinusoids. Right, that that was a, sh a video about the uh, protection of the red pillar cell. Okay, let us move next. Erythropoietin and RPC protection. We said already uh, the cells in the kidneys and liver produce the hormone erythropoietin, which stimulates the red blood cell production. So here, these are the two kidneys two kidneys we will learn we will start them in a sh in a separate video and the excretory uh, what we mean in the uh, urinary system but here we mean here we mean in this video we we uh, which we are recording about the plot and they produce the plot what we had uh, the prior uh, hormone called erythropoietin. Erythropoietin is the hormone which is responsible for the protection of the re red blood cell. So 70% of that erythropoietin, which is very important hormone, when when you when you became unable to produce that hormone, when you have an uh, what we call renal failure, renal failure. So 70% of that hormone is produced in here, and they stimulate the organs that produce the blood which are pones the red marrow in the red bone by uh, red uh, short pones or the flat pones so as a liver in here we see the liver liver in as an organ in here we also said it produces 30 percent of, uh, of the erythropoietin so it is an important organ when it comes in the erythropoietin and RPC production. So let us move next one. So let us see the function of the red blood cells in here in this video. The bloodstream delivers oxygen to cells and removes carbon dioxide waste through a process called internal respiration. In the lungs, oxygen is absorbed into the erythrocytes in the bloodstream. These cells, commonly called red blood cells, contain gas transporting molecules called hemoglobin. 
oxygen binds to these molecules. The oxygenated blood then moves through the vasculature. At the narrow capillaries within body tissues, red blood cells release oxygen, which then diffuses through the capillary wall into tissues. Meanwhile, the waste product, carbon dioxide, diffuses into the bloodstream where it is carried inside red blood cells and in plasma. The deoxygenated blood travels through the vasculature and back to the lungs where carbon dioxide is expelled from the body. Very good. So this was a video or a short video talking about the function of the red blood cell, how the red blood cell is function. So let us move next. Here we see the red cell, red blood cell and oxygen transport. Here we see two important organs. What are these two? So this is the lung and the heart. The lungs. So the lungs here we see we have lighter the lungs. This is the if we say this is the superior lobe of, lob of the left left lung. So in general, left uh, we have uh, everybody has uh, two left uh, two uh, lobes of lung, two lobes. So we say two lungs. We mean I, I mean two lungs. So uh, the right lung and the left lung. This is the right lung is generally. This one, this one, this one, which is subdivided into lobes. The red lung contains this or consists of three lobes. This is superior lobe, I have lighted the superior right lobe. This is the middle right lobe. This is the inferior right lobe, inferior uh, lobe, right lobe. So the, the right lung contains or consists of the three uh, lobes. What about the left side? What about the left side? Left side is composed of superior lobe and inferior lobe. So which is which is uh, separated? This superior lobe and inferior lobe is separated by inferior what we call a uh, fissure. A fissure in here. If you see here, this fissure is called oblique fissure. That is the one divides the superior and inferior lobe of the left lung. What about the right lung? This is superior right lobe of the lung. This is inferior left lobe of lung. What horizontal? This is the horizontal lobe. And there's horizontal fissure or a groove that divides the superior and inferior. And this one is called oblique. So the right side has two oblique, which is this one, and this one, which is horizontal. But the left side has two, only one, which is oblique and it's this one as you see with a nice heart in here we have between the two so what are the importance of the lungs when it comes into the uh, blood as well the red blood cell is a, a, a transport oxygen to the body so an oxygenated blood flows from the lung where to the heart, which pumps throughout the body. So that is important of the lung in generally. So this is the inferior uh, surface or say inferior uh, view, inferior view of the lung and heart. And this is the superior uh, view of the heart and lung. This is the lateral, this is the right lateral, this is the left lateral. And this is the posterior uh, surf, uh, surface or posterior view. So in here, as generally, this is, these are the two lungs. These are two lungs. So we will lend them in a, in a separate video in the respiratory system. But in here, it is the, where the gas exchange takes place, which, uh, which are uh, the gas which is uh, very important, the oxygen which is very important to uh, gas. Uh, which uh, yes, in here uh, this is this is the one I uh, not, uh, this structure is highlighted. It's a heart. Now it's the heart. Uh, what is the heart doing? We will study them in the heart chapter. So let us move next one. See here. Here you see. Here you see that uh, this is neutrophil. This is. A neutrophil. This 
has, uh, these are the blood cells. White blood cells or leukocytes are components that depend defend this the body against the diseases. So they are many, there are many types of leukocytes. Together they form account one percent of circulating blood. So together they are only one percent, but forty five percent is RBC. All right. So here this is. One, two, three, four lobes, which is four or five lobes. It is a neutrophil and it's a granulocyte because they contain red granules, granules inside, inside the cells. So this is neutrophil, this is a granulocyte, as we said, and this is uh, eosinophil and this is posophil, which also uh, neutrophil uh, also consumes bacteria. Uh, it consumes or destroys the bacteria and phagocytosis. By phagocytosis. So 60 to 70 percent of the uh, le leukocytes is uh, what we call uh, what we call a neutrophil. So this is pass of uh, this is the P cells. This is the T cell. This is the natural killer, a natural killer cell. This is to a large one. I mean, with the flagellated uh, or flagellated uh, structures is a monocyte so monocyte is circulating in the blood as a monocyte so when they go out of the circulatory system they take the name of that organ for example copper cells are the monocytes which are found in the liver so microglia as we discussed in the nervous system are monocytes which are present in the nervous system so so neutrophils are this one and this one is a monocyte lymphocytes. So lymphocytes are the second most common leukocytes after the uh, what we call uh, granulocyte, which uh, which are uh, a neutrophil and so on, uh, something like this. Yeah, neutrophil, pasophil, and eosinophil. Yeah. So they uh, briefly blood uh, through uh, through the bloodstream. So the in a various type is still so. So they contain a various types. Lymphocytic containers of different types. So the most important is a P cell, which produces antibodies. So T cell also is another one. T cell is another one. T cell targets viruses, fungi, cancer cells, and transplanted cells. So with this next one is a natural killer cell. So it attacks and destroys a foreign pori. It's in a field. Here you see. It destroys parasites and compartes effects of histamine. Pasophil, this one, which is a blue, is a pasophil involves also controlling allergic reactions. And the last one, which is a monocyte, so they develop into vagocytes and remove the deprivis after the infection. So, in generally, this is a this is what we are saying about. So let us see the function of the play it latest and let us see this video let's watch this video cell fragments called platelets or thrombocytes make up about two percent of blood platelets stop blood loss from damaged vessels when a blood vessel tears platelets at the site adhere to the wall of the vessel to close the tear the shape of the platelets changes as they liberate the contents of their vesicles this enables them to connect to one another Platelets also release chemicals that activate the coagulation system to promote blood clotting. Blood proteins known as clotting factors form fibrin threads. Millions of platelets together with the fibrin threads form a platelet plug. If the tear is small enough, the plug can stop blood loss completely. That was a short video about the function of the platelet. Let us move next. Here we see the location of a, a platelet production. So platelets are produced when, like the red blood cells, platelets originate in the bone marrow inside the bone, in inside the pons, uh, pons, particularly in the vertebrae, sternum, ribs, pectoral, pectoral and pelvic girdles, which is a uh, pelvic ileum. So, so this is the pelvic. This is the pelvic. This is the pelvic. And the 
Victory, which we are talking about, is this one, pectoral. Victory region is the cup, which we call uh, scapula, but this is the uh, pelvic girdle. So they are produced in this structure. So let us see one by one, but we will uh, we will discuss them, we will study them or learn them in the in the what we call in the videos of uh, a skeletal system and the skeletal system. Every structure in here we will uh, learn start them in the or uh, learn them in the uh, skeletal system. These are the vertebral column. This is the vertebral column which is now highlighted. This is the sternum. You see. This is the sternum. You see this is the sternum. Yeah, this is the sternum. These are ribs which are now highlighted. These are twelve pairs of ribs. This is the 12, 12 pairs of ribs. The pectoral, pectoral region or pectoral organs. The pectoral is include the scapula and f these two right and left um, clavicles. You see the right and left clavicle. So we will discuss these bones in the, in the skeletal system. So this is the pelvic griddle. Pelvic griddle is this. Uh, so they contain the ileum, which is this one, this is the ileum, and this one which we call pubis and ischium or ischium. So this is structures which diffuse, uh, which come together in here, a structure we call a pelvic uh, symphysis pubis. So this is the, this is the, what we call and uh, vertebra again so we will study this human skeleton in the in the skeletal system so this is the last uh, this is the last video about the applied in general so we will record the next one next video will be the heart the structure of the heart. We will study the heart completely in anatomy and we will study them how it functions physiologically. So we will study or learn. I will explain the heart and its function in the next video. So in the next video, we will be able to talk about the heart and the structure of the heart. We will be able to talk about the heart and the structure of the heart and the structure of the heart. وحين ذكرت يا أنا جو آه دكتور صديق محمد حسن السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته دي أتقال قبطان أما أدوني سنة أنا في يويدو كنت أوطان يوجا في إنجليزيا أساسا ندو كود دونا ده ما سيستم إسكودان إن شاء الله وهدي أدوني سنة يوجا في سومالي أنا وتصعد سن كرتان مركب فضلا قف كستو في فيديو كنت أوضاع في أم حلا ده ده أنا يوتيوب كم مركب كنت أوطان هدي أوبا هاتان يوجا في سومالي أدوني سنة يوجا سيدا سيم إنجليش كوجو بحيانا يو في سومالي بني دي كتو بكرا مركا كومنت كينا ايا امبورتانا ايانا كومنت كينا هشان سو كومنت كريسان ايانا يوتيوب سو كومنت كريسان اما سبسكريبشن سميسان او سبسكرايب ان ماي شانل بليس سبسكرايب ان ماي شانل يوتيوب شانل سو اف يو لايك دا فيديو ويس بليس كليك لايك ان اف يو هايد ات اف يو هايد دم كليك هايد اس ويل لكن تقوم يصير حوية تابتا إما قرنا سينا كومنت سميسان سان بيرجلنا نقطة عن فيديو دمبنا وطوبه دي لايكلو واحد كريت يا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.